Thank you all for turning up, much respect. We're going to start with a minute silence, so if we can uh, have a minute silence please. Thank you. <laughs> We've well been here for quite a solemn reason today. We're here to honour the military covenant. This is the moral obligation to support our armed forces and the sacrifices they make for us on a daily basis to protect the freedoms that we hold dear. But sadly, there are people in society who do not respect this covenant. And this is why we have specifically come to Burton today. Because last year, Tahif Shah desecrated this memorial. He is an extremist Islamic supporter who supports Al-Qaeda. And when bringing him to justice, he, he basically escaped justice through various acts of the authorities who did not honour their part of this military covenant to support our troops. Now when this was first reported in the Burton Mail, they didn't condemn it, they didn't speak out against it. Instead, 
they included an unsubstantiated quote from the Staffordshire Race Relations Council saying that the desecration was done by a far-right group looking to stir up tension within the Islamic community. Basically, they blamed us for it. When it turned out, it was actually a Muslim extremist who had desecrated the memorial. Nothing was said. Now, this is a massive insult because we love, respect and support our troops 100%. They are the best of the best and we are not a right-wing organisation. So I personally say the Burton Mail owes us an apology for that. Now that is not, to me, justice for such a despicable act. But Andrew Bodger of the Crown Prosecution Service said there was insufficient evidence to prove it was motivated by race or religion. Well, Andrew, I think you've bodged this one up, old son, because he wrote, he wrote, Islam will dominate the world, Bin Laden is on his way, kill Gordon Brown. And he wrote this on a memorial for British soldiers. How can that be anything other than mot motivated by race and religion? And yet nothing was done about that. And I think that is, that is appalling. I say the Crown Prosecution are too intimidated by the, by the potential reaction from the Islamic community to actually hand down a proper sentence. But we are not. And I would like to say we demand proper sentencing for anybody who desecrates war memorials and disrespects our troops. Well said. But well done. <laughs> The final insult came from Shah's appointed representative who says he didn't care what the British people thought about this. We should be more concerned about the innocent Muslims dying abroad. Well, he obviously doesn't class himself as British then, so why, you know, so why, why, so why is he not integrated into society? But he says, I can't see what the fuss is about. I'll tell you what the fuss is about. For thousands of years, over a thousand years, our bravest men and women have fought and given their lives for the freedoms that these scum choose to abuse. And that is a piss what take. Is. And we will not stand for that. For everyone here today, our friends, families, our brothers and sisters in the EDL around the country, we do honour the military covenant. We do do our level best to make sure our troops in the armed forces receive the, the love and respect that they deserve. And to finish, I would just like to say two things. For anyone thinking of following in the footsteps of Sosif Shah, that scummy student, Philip Lang, and that skanky bitch from Blackpool who desecrated <laughs> war memorials, don't try it. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, I'd like to say to our armed forces, <laughs> serving present and past, thank you. The debt of gratitude we owe you is beyond measure. We, we respect you, we support you, we love you, and we always will, because you are our heroes. Thank you. Thank you.